Stanford Health revealed plans today to merge with Intermountain Healthcare of Salt Lake City. Reporter Jacob Sersoimo has more on the potential merger. Sanford Health and Intermountain Health out of Utah are planning to merge together in 2021, which would make Intermountain Health the parent company of Sanford. Sanford has made no secret of the fact that the goal is to grow, to get bigger. Current Sanford CEO Kelby Kravinoff made it clear Monday that the merge with Intermountain Healthcare will come with a change of management company wide. I couldn't uh, think of a better person to hand over what I've been on, uh, overseeing for 25 years than Mark Harrison. I think he's going to be an incredible leader. Both CEOs say they are looking to expand with the merge and not downsize, giving employees job security and patients the security of continued care. The merger will also combine Intermountain's digital health care and telehealth capabilities with Sanford's rural health care delivery and clinical research. It really seemed like these were two very like-minded organizations. They had a lot in common and uh, each had things to gain from the other. Combined, the two organizations employ nearly 100,000 workers and oversee around 70 hospitals. They share a goal of providing affordable, high quality care. Intermountain Healthcare CEO Mark Harrison says with that goal in mind, their company is open to growing even more in the future. There's going to be a natural attraction to this and we are receptive and eager uh, to have them join the team at the right time. And as Sanford continues to grow, Jody Schwan says a merge like this one is exciting for Sioux Falls. There could be an opportunity here to create a model for others in healthcare, and they said as much today. They said they are looking to become even larger. So for Sioux Falls, for South Dakota, and for the Sanford now region to be a part of that, I think is an exciting opportunity. Now, Sanford health officials say that there is no plans to move away from the name Sanford. And another important aspect to highlight is the merge is not final yet. Both sides are hoping for summer 2021. The merger will employ more than 89,000 people and operate 70 hospitals with many in rural communities. It'll operate 435 clinics across seven states and provide senior care and services in 24 states. College basketball schedules are out. The Bison have a key matchup that Alex has details on next in sports.